And Boynton Beach could soon be paying less for city water. Crews are upgrading meters to keep more cash in the pockets of residents. Angela Rozier has this story. The city started installing the program back on July 30th. They hope to have it completed by 2016. You may have caught a glimpse of them in the neighborhood going from home to home reading your water meter. But if you live in the city of Boynton Beach, don't get used to it. See, the city is changing its meter reader system and going high tech. This is exactly what you see at home. And inside the meter box, you're going to have your water meter, which, which isn't going to change. That's going to be the same. What's going to change is the MXU that's attached. The city is in the process of installing that new attachment, which officials say will bounce a signal from your water meter via cell phone tower to a computer. They say the new fixed space system will allow them to read your meter every hour 24-7 with a few clicks of a mouse button. And it will also improve billing accuracy, reduce meter reading costs, and allow them to investigate leak detections quicker. Tell if a customer has a leak immediately, we'll be able to contact them. Um, I know a lot of our customers get concerned about high water bills, especially in these economic times. So we'll be able to see issues immediately instead of having a month before we obtain the read again. The owner of Woolbright Farmers Market likes the new idea. If the city can make more money and uh, you know the people who live in the city can can save some money, then why not? But he's concerned about what will happen to the six meter readers, and so are we. Okay, just because now it's going to the computer, you're not getting rid of the, the people who do the job. No, our plan is not to not to eliminate personnel, but just to reallocate. And officials tell me city leaders throughout the state of Florida are also looking into the system. They say they believe that the system is the first of its kind in our area. In Boynton Beach, Angela Rosier, WPBF 25 News.